here, Glenwood, also known as the Wood Whisperer. That's because wood is not only my name, it's also my passion. So much so that I've written eight short stories describing different aspects of wood, more particularly their stories told to me by boxes made of wood, antique boxes, travellers through time if you like. And the book is called Messengers in Time. This book, now available through Amazon.com and Barnes & Noble, uh, will appeal not only to collectors of antiques and old things made of wood, but also to those who are concerned about this resource, this beautiful resource of wood, timber and forests that we're rapidly losing due to mismanagement. The first story concerns a box made in the 19th century in Burma at the behest of a German company who wanted to ingratiate itself with the royal family. It's made of teak and retains the wonderful aroma of that wood, culled from the teak forests of Burma. Uh, and it was made at the behest of a company which needed to present itself for commercial reasons to the royal family in Burma, particularly King Tibor. And uh, they did this with some trepidation because they were carefully watched by the king's mother-in-law, a redoubtable lady who'd had 79 other princes murdered within the palace so that her son-in-law could become king. Extraordinary lady. The second box we'll talk about um, has a, an even more remarkable story. This was made in the 17th century by a man called César Bagar. Uh, and he, he used a wood now extinct called the St. Lucy wood, uh, Bois de Saint Lucie, which was indigenous to the forests of Lorraine in France. And the reason he made it was because King Louis XIV had outlawed the use of silver and gold and precious metals, which he needed to pay his armies for his military campaign. The aristocrats now had to use or look to a, another material, and this one came to mind because it can take very fine detail, chiselled, beautiful detail. This has a basket of flowers. Uh, with all the natural flowers and it doesn't require any varnish or, or wax finish because it takes a perfect polish being fine-grained as it is. So that's the 17th century French box and finally I'd like to mention this very poignant box which is Japanese made in the Meiji period the end of the 19th century in Japan it's covered, enrobed one might say, by veneers of various woods native to the province of Hakone in Japan. And the box is remarkable because it was gifted uh, by one Japanese American. Um, he worked as a translator in the dreadful episode of uh, the battle of Okinawa and he gifted it to an American soldier who returned to America after World War II but the Japanese American his family hadn't been well treated and so he had the decision to make whether he would return to uh, America or to his spiritual home of Japan the box will tell the story. <laughs>